Good evening. So many people loved Monica. Her slender fingers held so many hearts. But how to speak on her behalf? What would she say tonight? She would have loved the ball gowns, the decorations, the dreamlike quality of this room. Monica was born with infantile phaseoscapular humeromuscular dystrophy. By the time she was nine, she was losing the ability to walk. Nevertheless, she was quite determined to become a flight attendant, those cute outfits, and the chance to travel the globe. She didn't see why being in a wheelchair should hold her back. Surely they could just widen the aisles. But weakening muscles meant that she had to leave mainstream schooling. She attended a special school, which ended in year 10. Again, she was not content with that limitation. She pushed to complete year 12 by correspondence and was accepted into university to undertake a degree in visual arts. While she was at university, Monica's talent for writing also came to the fore during the part of the course where students study set design. She decided to write a play and was encouraged to apply to the National Institute of Dramatic Arts to undertake the highly competitive playwright degree. During the interview process, she was asked why she had decided to take up a career in writing. By this time, her muscles had weakened to the point where she was wearing a plastic body brace. She glanced down and said, do I have a lot of other options here? In truth, they were beginning to shrink. However, Monica believes that shrinking options only put a spotlight on other choices. I remember the day I met her in the university cafe. She was there, that shock of hair gleaming. There was a letter of acceptance from Nida beside her coffee cup. A Simon and Garfunkel song began to play through my head. Sail on, silver girl. Sail on by. Your time to shine has come. May all your dreams be on their way. See how they shine. She completed that playwright course. Her play was put on at NIDA to critical acclaim. And then FSHD reared its head again. She was hospitalized for four months. When she was released, she could no longer sit up. She couldn't be part of stage production teams, so she returned her art, lying on her stomach in bed. Monica sent this work to a gallery. They accepted her drawings, not knowing that not only was she a girl in a wheelchair, she was a girl lying prone on her stomach on a modified wheelchair. It was around this time the little character called Silly popped out of the end of her pen. A simple little creature with an enormous curiosity for life. Silly began to take on all the adventures Monica could not physically take herself. Eventually Monica signed up Silly to be part of the biggest adventure of all a challenge to find a cure for FSHD. I think of those researchers. Like Monica, they have imagination. They have courage. They have determination. Monica used her artwork to raise money for the foundation. She became an ambassador. And then last year, she died. The family gathered around to pack up her flat. There were unfinished children's books, drawings, plays, those fairy lights around her bed, so many unfinished dreams. But Natalie Moss rang to say that the dream would continue. The foundation had established the Monica Ellis Children's Medical Research Grant. This grant would be distributed globally to researchers until a cure her infantile FSHD is found. The song goes through my mind. Sail on, silver girl, sail on by. 
Your time has come to shine. May all your dreams be on their way. See how they shine. On Monica's behalf, I pass those dreams on to Natalie, to the Foundation, and to you. Please continue to make them shine. Thank you.